All right, what's up Dragon Brood? Today, we're gonna play Jund, which is a fun thing, but we're gonna build a deck that actually has tokens, has haste creatures, has life gain, has sacrifice, and even has planeswalkers. We're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. The question is, is it gonna work? As always, be sure to check out our friends over at CoolStuffInc.com. They can be your one-stop shop for all your nerd stuff, magic, Pokemon, even other types of board games or whatever. Check them out. Remember to use code DRAGON at checkout. It'll save you 5%. Okay, so going down this list, we're going to start with Teeling Wormlet because we're going to have a bunch of things coming into play that happen to be artifacts, so we're going to gain some extra life and grow this creature. Alongside this, one of the best things we can play with it is Gala Greeters, because pretty much every creature can come into play. They can make a treasure, and that treasure can actually pump the wormlets. However, if we pair this with Sakinzen Smelter, well now we can start turning those treasures into creatures, which makes an additional thing, which also gains us another life on the wormlet. Not necessarily a second plus one, because you only get that once a turn, but still very cool interactions. We're gonna be playing Blood Tithe Harvester because, well, it makes a token that's an artifact and it's another piece of removal. Of course, we're gonna be playing Oni Cult Anvil as a way to do some more sacrificing. And this actually works well with the Kinzen Smelter as well, because you can sack something and get the 1-1. One, one. So lots of cool stuff happening here. We are going to rock Braids, because we're going to have enough artifacts that there's a lot of times opponents may not have any, and we can get just easy life loss and get an extra card there. Of course, we're going to be playing Obnixilis, because we're going to have so many random tokens. Why not turn some of them into another Obnixilis and see if that can win us some games in those problematic matchups? Then going with Jenny Fay, and this gets to be really ridiculous whenever we have a Gala Greeters on top of Sakins and Smelters and everything else. It gets to be kind of wild turning every token into a potential cat or dog token. Speaking of which, you can almost triple down on that with Stimulus Package, because it makes two when it comes into play, and then every treasure you make from a Gala Greeters can become a creature. And even better is because you have some things that only happen once a turn, you can then do this on your opponent's turn, and keep those things coming in, making another treasure, and just never run out of fuel. And then our big over-the-top card is going to be Rankle and Torbrin. The reason is that after it deals its initial first strike damage, you could then have everything you have that deals damage from there dealing an extra two, which means when you have all those 1-1 one, one tokens, they could deal an extra two. We are also going to supplement this with Transmogrin's Crown as a way to get some extra cards, and we're already sacrificing a lot of things, so it sort of works. And then we're going to try some Annihilating Glare, because this isn't like a removal card you get to see that often. But again, we have a lot of artifacts, so why not? And we're going to pair it with some Go for the Throats, so we can actually get to those later stages and hopefully drag these games out to where we can overwhelm the opponent. But that's it. If you want the full deck list, it will be at the end of the video, like always. But if you want to download it, it'll be in the description. Just look for the little blue arrows. It'll take you to our Moxfield link where you can get today's deck and you can see all the other decks we played throughout the season. So y'all go enjoy these games because they're sure to be interesting and then catch up with me at the back in the video once we have the kind of made up good version done. Ooh, let's mulligan this. Think old Jenny Faye's gotta go away here, huh? But we will keep six. All right, let's do that. Scrove, sure. Go ahead and play you. And it's followed by a what? Oh, so we're just going straight up toxic here. All right. That is a thing. This actually creates a little bit of a situation, though, to be honest. Because... We kind of want to kill Skrelf. We also kind of want to kill a Jawbone Duelist. Which is not great. But I think Skrelf is a priority. Whether we like it or not. Right, we're going to go with this. Not that I know if it's the actual right choice or not here. But. Oh, well, there's some red mana. Yep, Jenny Faye is out of here. Unfortunate, but is what it is. All right, that's something. So let's go here. And here. And we'll sack this to turn it into a body. And we'll make another treasure temporarily just to make sure we have other stuff to sacrifice in case something goes sideways. 
Actually, you know what? I could have got rid of the Jawbone Duelist. Now that I think about it, because I had the Oni Cult Anvils, I could have made colorless things to be able to block with. So it may not have mattered, actually. That might have been the wrong card to get rid of. Well, of course, that has Trample now. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, no blocks. You got it. I'm not sure if any of this matters at this point. Uh, we'll go to life, just in case we need it, I guess. Uh, sack one of these. Get a treasure. And get a plus one. And yeah, we'll pass. I mean, if they can pump that up a couple more times, we're just going to die anyway. All right, you got it. I'll be taking at least 10 here and two poison. Yep. Come on, removal card. That's what we need. You are not a removal card, but also, I guess, not the worst thing that could have happened here. Yep. Uh, sure. More bonuses. Gain two. Gain two. Pass the turn. I mean, if they have another one, we're not dead dead, but we're close. All right, Scrolls Hive. That's not so bad. Though they get to gain a bunch of life now from Double Strike, so that's a whole different problem. I say that. They're going to first strike a 1-1, one, one, so I mean, I guess they gain 5. And in theory, if we can get some creatures big enough, even if they were to get another Angel Fire Ignition... Well, no, because it gets indestructible, so that doesn't matter anyway. All right, we'll take it. It's some amount of life gain here, so sure. Get a treasure. Get a treasure. Why not? Get rid of one of these. Make some bodies. All those are going to go off. Well, plus one. Well, plus one. Those all go off. We make some more life. And uh, pass the turn, I guess. We're not really doing much, sadly. What I need now is Rankle. Right? We'd be able to attack and have so much damage with these extra two from everything. Ugh, it would be awesome. But we unfortunately are not in that situation at the moment. I mean, that being said, if I just get rid of Jawbone Duelist, we'll just attack in. Alright, that's a thing. Does allow us to grow Wormlets double time, so that's good. Still get rid of one of these. I uh, don't think... I guess I might as well... Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's do this. Get a bigger body. More important here. And then we'll just get the other treasure. Alright. Then... Pass the turn? Soon we will have creatures big enough that we can swing past the Jawbone Duelist. This is a silly game, honestly. I was not expecting this, but we did not draw any of our removal cards, really. Except for one Harvester. And that's kind of what got us in this situation. 
All right. We're going to sack one of these. We're going to turn into a creature that's going to make us another treasure. What are you going to trigger those? And then we take our turn. Wow. Okay, sure. Why not? Crack one of these. Get a plus one. Might as well just gain life at this point. All right. Do we have enough yet? One, two. They block our biggest things. We have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and five is seventeen. Ugh. Not quite. All right. Fair enough. Close, though. Very, very close. Also, they do have potential life gain, too, from first strike on the Jawbone Duelist, so we have to count for that, too. Gosh, his welcome is going to result in more cards, which we're not going to like, but, uh, you know, is what it is. Sure. Get a card. Hope it's something they can play. Oh, okay, just a land. All right. Get rid of one of these treasures. Turn it into a body. Just grow this, I guess. Uh, use another one. And we'll just make treasures with that one. All right, finally. Jeez, this is what we've been waiting on. Let's uh, sacrifice an artifact and kill this thing. Boop, boop, boop. Auto pay. It's like this. All right. Took us long enough to find something, but uh, this should do it. Yeah. All right. Go on attacking. Jeez, that took a while. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Oh, jeez. That was a battle. And I will say, we kind of survived a big early punch there from the uh, Angel Fire Ignition and the uh, Jawbone Duelist. That was, that was a really good start from the opponent, actually. So I'm, I'm glad we were able to overcome that, but uh, we might need a little more removal in the deck. We'll see. Um, you know? Sure. Let's keep it. Why not? I mean, I truly have no clue how this is going to work out. All right, I'm going to take the safe route and start here, I guess. Steel Seraph. Well, that's unfortunate because we can't kill it with the Gala Greeters. Or, I mean, with the Gopher Throat. Can't kill anything with Gala Greeters. Um, Alright, let's go here. I'm willing to attack here and just trade because I can't do anything else. Oh, they're actually just blocking. Wow. Okay. Definitely didn't see that coming. Oh, because they just had another one. Alright. Well, not knowing the type of deck they're playing, I'm not going to... Ooh, that's an idea, though. I was going to say, I'm not going to besage you. But this is really interesting. What if we do this, and we make a treasure, and then we do this, and then we can sack... Okay, well, that's it. Opponent gave up. Man, I was really hoping we were going to get to kind of rock and roll with this one because the plan here was going to be just turn this into a 1-1, one, one, make another treasure so that next turn we could try to maybe get another land 
and rankle plus make a three one and then start going for it with the bonus damage. But uh, yeah, and to be fair, this still could have gotten removed by like a wandering emperor or whatever, but had potential to be something there. Had potential. But we'll take an easy win. I think we're keeping this. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to progress here because we don't really have any artifacts for our own cult anvils yet. Or for the uh, smelter. So this is going to be a little bit awkward. Okay, that's good. Because I was thinking, like, even if we drew a, uh, like, a wormlet, we probably wouldn't even have wanted to play it there. All right, I think we're going to do this. It's it's black-red, so I think we're going to take our time getting set up here. Probably just play Zeotor as tapped. And assume they just got a lot of removal. And work from there. Go ahead and get this down. Pass the turn. And then that gives us the option of playing Smelter and Harvester or play either of these and a go for the throat, which could be okay. Well, bad news is they're going to get to play wherever they want next turn. Good news is we don't have too many big things for them to get from us, so just be kind of whatever comes out of their library. Okay, so things being what they are, we could Stimulus Package... And that would be a thing, would give us mana the next turn if we wanted to do that. We could also just Blood Tithe Harvester, play this tapped, and give us access to more things for the following turn. But I don't even know if that's truly beneficial. So, here's what we're going to do. Going to play this and this. With the assumption of we're not going to get to block anything. Or, I mean, kill anything. So let's just uh, get rid of that. Get our two dudes. Gain some life. In the turn. Alright. Yep, I assume something like Breach would be coming. So not a shocker here. Question is, is it just a tally from their side? Nah, it could be Chandra. Probably just a tally. Yeah. That makes the most sense. And you have a big score? Oh, that's neat. Alright, we'll have a chance to gain some life. All right, obviously they're going to drain us for some life here. The so pass, we block. And then we sacrifice that. Okay, a second smelter is kind of interesting. There's a little bit of a story to be told there. We obviously just go for the throat this guy. I don't think that's a question. Alright, we're going to play this. I mean, we might lose our whole board to Gix's command here, too. Like, we know the risk, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Sack like this. And I feel like if we're just risking losing stuff anyway, I might as well attack here. Don't know what other benefits we've got. Yep, you got it. All right. They gain a life. I'll probably play another Itali. Or another breach. Okay, that works too. So we're just going to see another Itali from their side. I mean, get our Jenny Faye and call it good opponent. <laughs> like, seriously. Alright, cool. 
This is a gamble, but I'm going to keep it. Because almost any land we get should be good here. I mean, that said, we're probably going to be trying to get rid of a generous visitor. Actually, I don't know. If they, actually, that we could survive. Oh, that's more of a problem. They at least didn't have, like, Jukai Naturalists or anything here. But they did have an audacity. Wow. Okay. Not great. Uh, what do we need to do here? I mean, all right. It's kind of all we can do, really, right? Attack? I mean, I assume they have white mana. They just didn't play it last turn because they were using their green for other things. Yeah, there it is. All right, that makes sense. Oh, wait, they're not going to play Calyx yet? I mean, we're not upset if they don't. That's great, but uh, a little bit surprising. I guess if they do that, they can copy the audacity after they attack. It's like, that's a thing, I guess. Here's something interesting, though. If they don't put the bonus on Calyx, if we just don't block, we can actually exile the visitor, sacrifice and kill Calyx, still play a creature next turn. And that's not a bad turn. Oh, no, they're putting the counter on there now. Okay. Well, now that becomes a problem. I forgot about that counts as an enchantment coming into play. So probably going to take us out of the running to do anything we wanted to do there. So what are our choices? We could Obnixilis, but we don't have enough mana. Sadly, I think we just got to do this. Target this. Yeah, it's tough. Much as I dislike it, might be the only real action here. And then play this. No attacks. Here comes removal number one. Maybe even two of them, if it's like double ossification or something. Alright, that's going to be a big problem. And they could even copy a Jukai Naturals if they wanted to. Which would be pretty rough. But not a lot we can do about it. Yep. That's the whole board, so pretty much that is ball game. All right. All right, let's keep it. Bushwhacking. Okay. Guess we're just going to play that tapped, since that's the only green we have available. And the opponent chose to do nothing there. Huh. What does that mean? Because I kind of want to play a Harvester here. But with the opponent playing just green, can we get away with... You know what? Let's go here. Because there's a chance we could draw a green land next turn and we can play Gallagreeders into Wormlet. And then maybe do something. Yeah, I had the feeling like whatever they played, we weren't going to be able to kill with the cut down anyway. So that checks. Um, Then I guess we do this. And just pass. Ah, there's red mana. Ooh, and wall oddity. All right, well, cut downs are going to do nothing. We got to find go for the throats. Because those are definitely going to do nothing. Alright. We got those. We can sp 
spend one. Let's just play that. Then we can get two life. Turn this into a creature. Get a treasure, which gets us another life. Attack because we can. <laughs> I mean, like, no real reason here. And see if us just gaining three life a turn matters over the next couple turns. Because I'm not sure. Oh, I meant to block there with the 1-1. One, one. Uh-oh. That might come back to haunt us. Oh, they didn't have anything, though. That's a little scary, a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Very concerning. Alright, let's go ahead and treasure up. I also forgot to make a treasure during their end step. That could have cost me a point of life that could be relevant. All right, we're going to gain the two life. Then next up, let's turn this into a body. That's 11. Attack, attack, attack. Attack. I'm going to leave the 1-1 one, one back in case. Because this wouldn't kill them with or without that extra 1 point here. Alright. In the turn. No clue if we're dead or not. They could have a thing that like double... Okay, they had a thing that doubled the powers or something. It could have been pretty tough. Let's block... Wow, what are the odds? If they play the thing that can give something plus X and trample, what would that be? 8, 9, 10, 11? So we'd be at 1. Alright, that's fine. If it's anything else, we're toast. But Okay, opponent's at 5. Are we still alive? Dopeberry Stomper currently says yes. Man, I don't know how we won this with the start versus what the opponent had, but we will take it. Uh, sure. This seems fine. Like, I don't know if Gallagreeters actually gets to live. Probably doesn't, but... Ooh, that's not bad, though. Might even lead with that because we have only Cult Anvil. So, that's actually not too bad. I'm going to say, and depending on what they did, we could have set up a kind of an interesting Obnixilis turn. Does this get countered? Does it? Oh, it gets in the gate. All right. And the turn. So they kept the counter heavy hand because that never means anything else. All right. Ooh, okay. All right, we're going for it then. I mean, if they're going to keep that hand, we got to punish them for it. Chrome host, you got it. Okay. We will go here. We're going to play an Obnixilis. Getting rid of this, so we get a bigger Obnixilis. And then plussing. <laughs> One city, pleasure doing business with you. Oh, that's what they're doing. Okay. Very cheeky over there. Alright, well we might have helped them out, letting them put some stuff in the graveyard, but... It is what it is. No attacks. 
All right, Rafine, you got it. And they're going to go digging for land here, I assume. I don't think I've ever wanted a cut down more than my life than right now. We did not get it. That's super sad. However, we now get to attack with less threat from the opponent. Because what we can do is minus this one make a body. That makes a treasure. Then we can plus this one. And we can sack this treasure we just got. Get a plus one. So that won't die to Rafine now. And yeah. All right. They go to four in the turn. I mean, they can attack and kill our Planeswalkers. Which, you know, understandable if they do. Yep. Now, I'm thinking if they do anything, they're going to probably put this or this into play. Actually, it probably has to be reanimate things so they can just get a tally. They got rid of lands, though, which is kind of interesting. All right. My it's a depopulate, so we get to put them to three. All right. That's not the worst thing, all things considered. All right. Hey, that's something. And we can use Besaidu to get rid of that, but I would wait on that. Because we don't want to give them the extra white land if they're waiting on that to reanimate something. Shieldred's Edict, huh? Kind of sucks, but I think that just means we got to get rid of the Wormlet, right? I mean, because the opponent's at three. I mean, we kind of have to. All right, we should be good now. I mean, I say that. They could have a cut down. So let's wait and see what we draw if we have another reasonable answer here. I don't think we do, but maybe. All right. Smelter lets us attack. That's safer. And then we just turn this into a body. And Smelter to the rescue. Okay, if they're going to go through the effort of blocking, then... I mean, I guess it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> like, they, it's still three. Okay, we'll take it. Keep it? I think we're just... Har we might try to just go Harvester and drop Nixilis, depending. Actually, I said, if we get another land, I'll probably go Harvester... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's a few different things that could change us. Hmm, that has kind of an appeal all its own, too. But I think we're going to go with this. I only consider that more because if we greeters into greeters and we get a treasure, that automatically frees up mana for the next turn. However, uh, now I think we're just going to go for it and hope the opponent... I don't even want to attack here in case they have the thing that deals three to an attacking creature. And I know that's a little conservative of a play, but this just opens up more opportunities here. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. I mean, if people are bringing the uh, controlly options, then I guess this is what we should be doing. If that's even what they're playing. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. All right, let's get an untapped green land. That's kind of like the next step here. An untapped green land would be awesome. All right, soul partition, sure. Beats me and survives. Uh, let's go ahead and follow through with our plan here. Go treasure. Plus. Defy me, and you lose. All right, pass the turn.
<laughs> they're gaining incremental life back constantly, which is kind of amusing. Okay. So now we're in the world of what do we want to do? I want to keep some of this for post uh, sweeper situations when those arise. Okay, that's a dissipate. Not the friendliest thing for us here, but uh, I guess we go ahead and go with this then. Gain a treasure. We will plus. And I'm just going to attack. Being a little concerned here, because this is the type of deck that looks like it's playing a bunch of sweepers. So if they are playing something like Sunfall, I don't just want to give them more stuff. We'll have to figure out how to deal with. And if they don't have that, well, then potentially we get to do a lot of damage over the next couple turns. Though, that was potentially four more damage, too. So, I mean, opponent being at seven is definitely different than them being at 11. All right, so they want to steal that? All right, stolen. But it feels like close to the safest thing that could have happened. Uh, yeah, we go treasure. We plus. Otherwise, I think I have to target. I don't have to target there. Then we, uh, whoops. Auto pay, and we'll turn the tap treasure into a body. Getting a plus one. And getting another treasure, I guess. Attack for three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Well, if I knew the opponent was going to end up like that, we would have won on this turn. But you never know. All right, you have a Wandering Emperor. You got to get rid of the Smelter here. That's just ball game, right? Yeah, that's the one you got to get rid of. But does it even matter? No, that's not true. They go to four. I mean, well, we have another, but they don't know that. But we have another body, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter, really. Plus, we can minus up Nexilis here. We we got all kinds of ways. Uh, Anything cool we do with this? Not really. Sure. Make a treasure. Comes a body. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, ba doom, ba doom. They're tapped anyway, but doesn't much matter. All right. And then just attack the opponent. My game went a lot easier than I thought it was going to. But, good stuff. All right, let's keep it and see what we can do. Put that in tap for sure. I feel like this is going to play a bit slow. If this is a creature deck, we're probably going to try to... Kill something first, and it does look like it's not, sadly. Oh, what are we looking to do here, then? I guess uh, they're going to have to have a counter, right? Do, 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 do. All right, that's a thing, I guess. All right, they are using a lot of removal here on these, so that's something. Not sure if it's something good, something bad, it's just something. All right, why not? Wow, their hand was just straight make disappears. Okay. If they got it, they got it. Let's go here and here, I guess. Pass the turn. I mean, it wouldn't even have mattered, really, if we'd done... Well, I guess we could have got away with the Jenny Faye if they'd have taken turn off to play Wedding Announcement, but also wasn't planning on them having a fistful of uh, 
Meg disappears either. All right. Well, that's likely not going to do much for us. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's see what survives. That's basically what this is going to be about here in the early turns. What lives and what doesn't. So far, so good. But this looks like a domain type deck, so anything can happen here. All right, there's a herd migration. Huh. I feel like maybe we're supposed to go for... Ooh. Could be a pile of Obnixiluses here. Um... Hmm. If we ob, we get rid of Wormlets. We can get another... We can minus two with one, get treasure. Play the other one... All right, let's attack. Feels a little risky, but our hand's not giving us too many other options here. Let's make a duder. Let's make a treasure. Plus one. And they didn't discard, so they're not doing reanimation stuff, because they probably would have just put an Atrax in the yard. So they're just going to straight up cast it, is their plan here. So we need to draw, hopefully, a go for the throat to deal with it. Or this is going to get very sad. Alright, so our actual Obnixilis. Is that going to do anything great here? Let's go treasure. Plus one. Probably just going to plus with both of these, actually. And then attack. Then... Go with this. Yeah, I guess so. I was thinking about would we be able to play Rankle or whatever, but I think this is still correct. This is a weird sequence of play here, but it's what we got. It's what we got. Get to deal one more to the opponent. And then we want to keep this one. And then we'll plus with this one. Can we... Do we minus? I think we just have to plus here, right? I mean, we have access to creatures. I mean, we have to draw a land if we want to try to rankle. But if they have an attract, so rankle does nothing anyway. So go for the throat is the actual card we're going to be looking for. All right. No attracts. That's all we were looking for there. Because while we have answers, we don't have them in hand. Oh, yeah, we're good now. Because they're going to have to discard their hand just to not die, or close to not die. Yeah, that card's worthless here. Though, as it turns out, Rankle would have been the card. We're going to take the plus one. And attack. And then we're just going to try to go off with these boys. So now, even if... They keep an Atraxa in hand, or they were to draw an Atraxa and play it. Well, that's not true, because they could also get... I was about to say they would just die to Obnixiluses, but they could also get... Um, a Ley Line, but... Okay, hey, that gains life. That's real. That's a serious thing. And they're going to go to six. 
So they're not dead. <laughs> this isn't over. Opponent says GG, but yeah, I guess that's still it. Hey, I just want to interrupt this for a quick note here to let you know that Lotus Con is going to be going on October 7th, so if you play some competitive commander, this could be your jam. I know I'm not a competitive commander person, I'm more of a casual commander person, but they are going to have casual commander all weekend. This is almost going to be like a small command fest, so if you miss those, it could be worth checking out. But you can play for some really big prizes, or you could just come hang out and be part of the magic festivity. So, just figured I'd let y'all know about that. Alright, so speaking of changes, the, uh, the quirky changes... We're good. I mean, taking out those quirky removal, they just weren't doing enough. And we added in a couple more. So now we've got three cut down, four wormlet, three go for the throat, two transmograte crown, four Sakenzin smelter, which this was good for a win or two, which was awesome. Uh, Gala greeters, blood tithe harvesters for four, four Oni cult anvil, two obnixilis, three Jenny Fay, two stimulus package, two rankle, and Torbrand. However, I would say maybe. There is a possibility to remove one Jenny Fay for an extra Obnixilis. Mostly the logic here being that the matchups where Jenny Fay is going to struggle is probably where you want an Obnixilis most of the time. So if you're already winning the creature battles or the creature fights or whatever, maybe you go with another Obnixilis so you have some options against like Esper Control, Zorius Control, that type of stuff, right? But if not, then you go for the other things and uh, see what we could do. But yeah, lands, we're kind of a little bit all over the place because we're trying to take care of three colors. But we have a Swamp, Takanuma, two Mountains, Sikinzen, Besaidu, a Forest, four Black Cleave Cliffs, two Haunted Ridge, one Sulphur Spring, four Car Copper Line Gorge, one Carplusion Forest, two Rockfall Vale, three Zeotaurus Proving Ground. All right, so this actually worked, but it took a little bit of time. Like I had to play through probably about... 15 or so games to get to a point where I knew what changes we needed to make to make it work. So it does take a bit of sequencing. You do have to make sure you play your lands in order so you can do whatever you want over the first three or four turns. So everything did matter along the way and all the cards actually worked in unison together, which is great, but you do have to understand that sometimes you're gonna have to be a little bit slower than you wanna be to get where you wanna go. But I do think this at least has some answers against Mono Red. Because of stuff like Obnixilis and even the Sakenzin Smelter, it gives you some backup plays against the control decks. Speaking of which, you may even leave some treasure in play so you could use it with a top decked uh, stimulus package or a Sakenzin Smelter so you can just get more bodies uh, kind of on a whim, which is really good in those matchups too. So lots of different things you could do here. Pretty fun deck. And it uses a lot of parts that aren't particularly new. So if you have these from playing other decks, go for it. And now for today's card spotlight, we're going to talk about Deadly Dispute. Mostly because this is a card that is not that old, but has already started to shoot up in price. Now, if you have the one from the Commander deck, they're only going to be about a buck, buck and a half. But if you do have the regular ones, they're in between $2.50 and $3, surprisingly. And they're uncommon, so this is an easy way to get some quick credit in your collection if you want to trade into stores and get some other things, or even just trade straight up to get a few other cards you might want for your decks. And the card's just generally good, so if you're not playing it, eh, consider it. The card's actually sweet and worth a pretty good amount for being an uncommon from the last couple of years. And if you enjoyed this wacky deck, you might actually enjoy our Celestia Tokens list that was able to go both really big and really wide and do some fun stuff, so check that out. But that's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.